Hi everyone. Thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out Home practice session. My name is Samantha Allendary. I'm a speech language pathologist and the founder of Parkinson Voice Project. I'm here to help you establish and maintain a consistent Speak Out Home practice routine. Today is Friday. Everybody say TGIF. Say that with intent. Ready? TGIF. Are you speaking out? Are you saying every letter with intent? Let's say it again. T-G-I-F, which stands for, thank God it's Friday. On Friday for our speak out practice, we do things a little bit differently. I show you some different ways that you can practice. You know, just change it up, try to make it a little bit more fun. Let's go ahead and I'll take a sip of water and then we will get started. As you pick up your cup or your glass, make sure you're thinking about it, you're using intent. When you bring it to your mouth, you are also wrapping your lips around and swallowing with intent. We're going to start with the warm up and we're gonna do something a little bit different. Instead of saying the word moo, I want you to spell it. Okay, so we'll do this just like we normally do, but when you get to this last one, I want you to spell it and see if you can keep speaking out the whole time. Here we go. May, me, my, mo, am, mo, o. Did you do it? Let's do it again. May, me, my, mo, am, o, o. O is a great sound <laughs> to work the mouth. Let's do it again. May, me, my, mo, am, o, o. Did you take a breath whenever you needed it? Let's do it again. May, me, my, mo, am, o, o. That's enough of that warm up. Let's take a sip of water with intent. The next speak out exercise, we're going to do the ahs. Um, we'll try something a little bit different here. It is, a, I will say it's a little bit challenging. We're going to say ah, but when about halfway through, I'm going to go like this. And I want you to see if you can make the sound grow, kind of swell. Takes a lot of control to do this, so. Let's see how it goes. Ready? Uh, it's even hard for me to do it. Did you, could you hear that it sounded a little bit stronger? Listen. Uh, let's try it together. Ready? Uh, it's pretty hard, isn't it? It's a different way to practice. You just want to be careful not to hurt your voice and not to always do it. But let's try again. Steady ah, uh, and then make it grow a little bit. Ready? Uh, notice that we're not holding it too long. It's hard to do. You've really got to contract the muscles. Try it again. Uh, take 
takes a lot of control. Let's try it one more time. Think about it. Uh, well, it's Friday. We're trying some different things. Do you find with Parkinson's, go ahead and get some water. Do you find with Parkinson's that it's harder to control your voice and have it come out in a nice, clear way? So these are just some things that we can do. Don't do those too often, though. Try them out, and uh, you don't want to hurt your voice. The next exercise, we're going to do the glides. Why don't we start with a stair step, okay? Repeat after me, and then we'll work our way into the glide. Ready? Repeat after me. Ah. Ah. Listen. Ah, together. Ah, listen. Ah, together. Ah, now glide. step can help you to get into that glide if you find that it's hard for you to change your pitch. Now with speak out, we add a little more intent to it. I want a steady ah and then glide. That's how we want to do it. Ready? Ah. Uh... One more time. Study off first. Uh, good job. Let's get some water. We're going to do the stair step down. Again, you always want to be working towards the glide. So when you work with your speech pathologist one-on-one, -on -one, if you're struggling with the glide, he or she will use some different techniques to help you get it. We're going to start high. Repeat after me. Ah, together. Ah, Listen. Ah, together. Ah, listen. Ah, in front. Ready? Start high. Start high and glide down. Ah. Good job. Now project out a steady ah first and then glide. Ready? Start high. Ah. One more. Start high. Ah. Good job. Let's take a sip of water. Since it's Friday, we will do something a little bit different with the counting. So for the ah, we were swelling or trying to make a bigger sound. Now with the counting, let's do the same thing. We're going to count to three, 
and we're going to start at a certain volume and I want you to make each one stronger. So it'll be like this. One, two, three. Okay, ready? One, two, three. This takes a lot of control with the breathing muscles and the vocal folds. Let's do it again. So one is uh, not soft, but the softest of the three. And we're going to crescendo. Make it bigger each number. Ready? One, two, three. Always speaking out, not yelling. Again. One, two, three. Good. Now this time we're going to count to three. Then we're going to do the same thing backwards. So we're going to go three, two, one. It's really hard. So start at one. We'll let it grow. And then we'll go back. Ready? One, two, three. Three, two, one. It's hard, isn't it? Let's do it again, just like that. One, two, three. Three, two, one. If I were to audio record you, would I hear the difference in the numbers? Let's do it again, just like that. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Are you getting a good workout? I am. Let's do it one more time. Ready? One, two, three, three, two, one. So on Fridays, we get to do things a little bit differently. All right, we're done with the numbers. Now we're going to do some rote responses. We are going to say the days of the week. We're going to stretch out the vowels, okay? Be uh, nice and even, nice and controlled as we say the days of the week. We're not going to take a breath, and, uh, and we're not going to take a break in between, but you take a breath whenever you need it. Let's start with, with Sunday. Ready? Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. How did you do? Did you notice that I took a couple breaths in there? The goal is not to do it all in one breath. The goal is to be able to coordinate your breathing without thinking about your breathing. You're just speaking out. But you just take a breath when you need it. Let's say the days of the week again. Start with Sunday. We're speaking out, and we'll just take a breath when we need it. Here we go, Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Are you keeping your speech from rushing? You have to think about it and be deliberate. Let's go backwards. We're going to start with Saturday and go backwards. Can you keep your voice nice and strong as you're thinking? Start with Saturday and go backwards. Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Sunday. 
How'd you do? Should we slow it down a little bit? Start with Saturday and go backwards. Ready? Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Sunday. A little bit different, right? Should we do it one more time? Let's do it one more time backwards. Start with Saturday. Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Sunday. You see, there are lots of ways to work on your voice. Let's take a sip of water. Fridays are a day when we do things a little bit differently. I do want you to know that what I'm trying to do are grants, um, our grant program. Every year since 2008, we've been giving out grants to hosp excuse me, hospitals and clinics, and we're training therapists all over the world to do Speak Out. So one of the goals for this year is to create this library of video recordings of speech pathologists from all over the world doing the exercises. And so I think that that might be a neat activity for Fridays and for the weekend where you could use one of the recordings from someone in a different country or someone in a different part of the U.S. and, and you do the exercises. This is something we're going to see. I'm going to put, put a call out to speech pathologists and see what kind of videos we get. I, I think it might be neat. So I'd love to know what you think about that idea. All right, we're going to say the months of the year. We're going to do just what we were doing with the days of the week, all right? Speak out, take a breath when you need it. Start with January, here we go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Did the words start going to the back of your throat? Don't let them. Speak out the whole time. Let's try it again. Start with January. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So the key is to keep speaking out and not letting it go to the back of your throat. All right. I am now, instead of reading today, we're getting lots of exercise today. I hope you feel that. I'm going to pull up our e-library, and in our e-library, something that I really like are the word cards. Now, if you are um, a new, the way that you get access to the e-library is if you're working with a speech pathologist, a speak out provider, and she can give you the link. I will say that Uncork It is updating some things with the e-library. So if you don't already have access, you might not be able to get access quite yet, but you will be able to eventually. <laughs> not too long, but they're working on it. So I want you, so I want you to just say the word, say the word, ready? Tiger, make sure you're speaking out, ready? Again, tiger, notice how I lift, I go tiger, everybody say it with me tiger okay so always when you're talking to people it's always lifting up so it's hi honey or i love
of you, okay? Always lifting up. So say the word again. Tiger. Now spell the word, ready, with intent. T-I-G-E-R. Connect the letters. Connect the letters when we're exercising. Take a breath when you need it. Let's spell it again. T-I-G-E-R. Now spell it three times without stopping. Take a breath when you need to though. Ready? T-I-G-E-R. 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 Make up a sentence with the word tiger. Say every word with intent. All right, did you use your best voice? Let's spell, oh, say the word first. Answer this question, do you like hamburgers? What other kind of burgers are there? Say it with intent. Let's say the word with intent. Let's say it together. Dog. Did you lift your voice? Say it again. Dog. Say it three times. Dog, dog, dog. Now spell it three times. D-O-G, D-O-G, D-O-G. Make up a sentence using the word dog and say every word with intent. Let me ask you, do you have a dog or have you ever had a dog? I want you to tell me three common names for dogs. Three common names for dogs. Go ahead with intent. This is one way you can use these cards in the e-library. Say this for me with intent together. Ice cream. Speak out again. Ice cream. Again. Ice cream. Say it three times. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. All right. Now. What is your favorite ice cream? Where could you buy your favorite ice cream? I want you to name five ice cream flavors. Did anybody name peppermint ice cream? That's actually I, one of my favorites. My dad used to come home from work. He was working at my grandparents' Mexican restaurant and they had peppermint ice cream and he would come home with a pint or a quart of peppermint ice cream and it was always a treat so I like to go over to Brahms and get their peppermint ice cream. Fishing. Let's say just say the word with me. Ready? Fishing. Again. Fishing. Make up a sentence with the word fishing. Say the word three times. Ready? F 
fishing, fishing, fishing. Again, fishing, fishing, fishing. Spell the word fishing and stretch it out. Ready? F I S H I N G. The key with that is to keep speaking out. Don't don't let the words go to the back of your throat. Let's spell it again. F I S H I N G. If that's too easy, spell it twice. Ready? F I S H I N G. F I S H I N G. I want you to tell me if you wanted to go fishing, where would be a good place to go fishing in your area? And tell me with intent. Tell me what people might use as bait when you go fishing. What do you what could you use as bait? Give me another example. Name as many as you can think of. What do people use as bait? And now I want you to name, I'm going to give you 10 seconds, name as many different kinds of fish as you can think of. Say each one with intent. How did you do? So you see, you can take these simple flashcards and you can say the words, you can say them three times, you can spell them. If that's too easy, you can spell them two or three times. Make up a sentence, then talk about where you could go fishing, talk about your last fishing trip. So that's now working on conversation. Use these cards. Again, everybody that's working with a speak out provider, that's a speech language pathologist that's been trained in the speak out protocol, every therapist has their own link that they can give to their patients and it's free. This is just one way that Parkinson Voice Project is helping you to regain and retain. We know you can regain and do very your speech and do very well in speech therapy, but the tough part with Parkinson's is retaining it. All right, take a sip of water, and we're going to end with Dr. Boone's words. Fridays are a little bit different. We give Lisa a break from planning the sentences and the reading material, and I just show you some different ways that you can practice. We're going to do Dr. Boone's words, exaggerate the G's, the K's, and the NG's. All of those sounds force the back of the tongue to go up and hit the roof of the mouth. Here we go. Gula ganga ga. Gula ganga ga. Next. Ku ka mangu ka. Ku ka mangu ka. Next one. Gangla. Gangla. And the last one. Ku kla. Ku kla. Very good. Be sure to send me an email either today or next week. Send an email to intent at parkinsonvoiceproject.org. Tell me what you think about the idea of Parkinson Voice Project creating this library 
of practice videos from speech pathologists all over the world, maybe in, in, even in different languages, where you could go and do your exercises on Friday or on the weekend and use one of these recordings where you're practicing with a different speak out provider and maybe even learning more about their city or their country. Let me know what you think about that idea. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. Use intent all weekend long. And I will be back on Monday. All right. Bye-bye.